In today's video, I'll be sharing all the tea on this electric hair steaming cap that I bought from Amazon. Keep watching to learn more. Hi curl friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome to those of you who are new here. I'm Naturally Shanice, your favorite curl friend and I have tons of natural hair tutorials and product reviews. When I'm not doing hair, I do love to share my personal health and fitness journey, beauty and skincare tips, as well as just a little bit of mom life. My whole goal here at Naturally Shanice is for you to watch videos that you leave having better knowledge, tools, and understanding of how to take care of your natural hair, as well as learn some things about how we can improve and take care of ourselves physically and mentally. So be sure to check out some of my other videos. And if you find something that you like, hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you never miss out. Okay, listen, before we get into the video, y'all already know my family's at home. If you hear noises, people walking around or people talking, it's just my family. You know, I listen, what's a naturally Shanice video? What's a naturally Shanice video? What is my videos without the interruptions of, you know, my family? So y'all already know. Anyhow, so a few weeks ago, I did an updated how to steam your hair tutorial and product review of my King Steam hair steamer. This is the steamer that I pretty much show and use as my go-to. I use it in all my videos and really it's a foundational hair tool in my own like, you know, hair space here, right? And one common question that I always get is, well, there's a few common questions. Um, being, you know, is the hooded steamer big? Is it hard to steam? You know, is it hard to store? Um, you know, do you need a lot of space to store it? And then like, is there a cheaper cost point for another option for a steamer? And so, the last few weeks here since that video, I have been on a quest and a hunt to help solve your problems, especially if you do not have a lot of storage space or you're just looking for something more compact and not a, hood, um, a hooded option. And because I love you guys so much, I found it. I found a hair steaming cap that I believe is like a really good alternative to an actual hooded steamer dryer and I mean a hooded steamer and I'm really excited to share more about this. I'm excited about this. Okay, so the steam cap. The steam cap itself was purchased off of Amazon and I got it for $24, well really $23.99. It comes in three different colors, so if you don't like the black that I'm showing here today, it, there's other color options. It came in a little tiny box. It has instructions for you. It's really, really straightforward and easy to use. It comes in three parts. First, you have the steam cap itself. Then you have the actual plastic cap that comes with it. We'll get into that later. And then you have the actual cord piece that you plug in. I was actually really surprised at the sizing of the steam cap. I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller. I have a very small head. So don't be concerned if you have a big head and is my hair and my head gonna fit in it. It will fit in it, okay? An insulated like thermal layering, which is how when you turn it on, think of the steam cap as like a steam pad. I mean, not a steam pad, what is it? A heating pad, right? But it's like a heating pad for your hair, okay? This is an insulated thermal layer inside. It's flexible, it comes with an adjustable back so you can just tie it up here and clip it. If you have a smaller hair, you want a tighter fit. And then the cord itself comes out from the back and you plug it into the wall. So there are two temperature control settings, one low, one high. The highest this gets, um, as they claim, is 150 degrees Fahrenheit. It also comes with this like generic plastic cap, but you really can use any plastic disposable cap. You have to use a cap with this. As I already mentioned, there are two heat settings, one low and one high, and this is how you kind of turn it on and off after it's plugged in. It takes about, I don't know, 10 minutes for it to get nice and hot, just like a normal heating pad. There is absolutely no steam that comes from this cap. I wanna be very, very clear about that. This is essentially a thermal, uh, you know, kind of heat cap, right? no steam comes out of it so this is still good for deep conditioning it's flexible here i'm working i've also laid in the bed with so it that's how you use the steam cap and all its features and settings um, when i used it i used it for about 20 minutes just underneath i really like well what i like about it is that a you could just like setting up my actual hooded steamer is a whole big ordeal i have to go to the table 
um, because it needs a hard surface to sit on. I have to go get the water, fill the tank up, wait about five minutes for it to start boiling and steam for it to come out. Like it's a whole production. And sometimes I just wanna be able to like deep condition my hair with some heat and be on my way. This right here, you'll be able to do that. Again, like look, you can just easy, compact, bring it out your drawer from underneath your bed, wherever you're gonna store it. You plug it in, you put your deep conditioner on as you would. You're gonna wear your plastic cap. You don't have to wear this one again. You can actually wear any plastic cap. And then you're gonna plug it in and you're gonna put it on your head. You can wear it while you're sitting on the couch watching movies. You could wear it, take a nap on your bed. It's just really, really, really flexible in how you use it and doesn't require a lot for setup. So I think for the usability factor, as far as like, you know, again, quick, easy setup, um, along with the cost of only 23, well, $24, um, easy storage. I think that this is a nice buy. Um, would I, how would I compare it to the actual hooded steamer? Like if I were going to buy one or the other, I don't think I can answer that for you. I think it's just about your needs. So again, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more flexible, you're short on storage space, you want something that you're just going to be able to set up, pop and go and you want flexibility you don't have to sit there at a table underneath the hood you know then this is your option if you don't mind setting up you know and a little bit longer stationary then you could go with the steamer now in terms of performance in all honesty i feel like my hair does better with the steamer um you just can't beat that water hitting your hair like water is the ultimate hydration and moisture for our hair so that's why i still prefer prefer my hair steamer because that direct heat and water just makes a difference in how your products perform on your hair after you rinse your deep conditioner out and your hair is just it's like that, that direct moisture is coming onto your head however this does an okay job um Again, it's all about how you wanna use it. My, I definitely deep condition my hair. My hair was soft. I felt like it works, but I just prefer the hair steamer because I like that direct uh, water you know, and steam actually coming to my hair. This isn't gonna produce steam, it's thermal. So in here is the thermal lighting. Like I said, it's like a heating pad essentially, or the old school way of when you like sit underneath the hooded dryer with your, uh, what is it, plastic cap on. So you're getting thermal heating, you're getting good uh, conditioner. Again, for the cost of $24, do I think that this performs well? Yes, for the value that it's gonna add to your life, if this is what you're looking for, then yes, this is a great buy. And this video is short, sweet, and to the point, okay? If you are interested in uh, purchasing the hair steam cap or even the traditional uh, tabletop hooded hair steamer, I put links in the description box just for you. Let me know um, when you use it, come back to this video, comment underneath if you liked it or not, if it was a good buy for you. Also, because I know you guys, curl friends, y'all are stylish and you could have asked me, sis, where did you get this hat? I need the link. The link to this hat is from Target, okay? I put it in the description box as well. And then I have on this cute, like, this is even gonna give you guys, see? I have on this cute little set here. Look at that, it's super cute, it's like a lounge set. Anyhow, if you're interested in cozy loungewear, I put links in the description box to this set as well. It's super duper cute and comfy. I'm wearing a size large and everything. Um, anyhow, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't be afraid, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you never miss out. All right, bye curl friends. I, there's, don't have kids because this is what they do. I'm, listen, video's over. Goodbye.